Oh, what's up? Today's video is on Jordan Miles. Now, if you knew here what the fuck we do here is read, listen, watch, and we block talk, break that shit down. And from now on, my WWE, NBA, and fucking NFL videos gonna be on Block Talk Athletics. Understand that this shit is bigger than wrestling, motherfucker. This is about race. Because no matter how some of y'all try to hide, you can't hide from this shit. And from time and time, you're gonna see this shit flicker. But who gives a fuck? Because you witnessing the rebel network god damn it your propaganda pilot gonna be sports illustrated let's read wwe wrestler john miles criticized his employee his employer as a racist after the company designed a t-shirt that evoked racial stereotypes miles real name albert hardy jr 31 tweeted sunday that the shirt which with its big red lips and bright white teeth on a black background recalled racist sambo imagery it's a slap in the face to every african-american performer fan and supporter god damn it like, now let's block talk break down that first little block right there you dig they say jordan miles criticized his employer as a racist don't say his employer he just said he said the wwe was racist and everybody know for a fact that the wwe is racist you could go through my motherfucking channel right now and find that out within minutes god damn it because i've done so many videos on booker t how you fucked over him with triple h god damn it triple h look at the, the celtic cross and shit that he used just like that dude uh shameless who used the motherfucking celtic cross matter of fact let's think about that dude seth rollins his his uh matter of fact what's his finisher the uh goddamn curb stomp y'all know what the curb stomp is back in the 60s when they'll put a black man face on a goddamn curb and stomp his face out for looking at a white woman god damn it matter of fact Seth Rollins when he come out what, what you hear him say on his little song that shit go uh burn it down what he talking about burning down probably a fucking church with four little girls in it dirty motherfucker matter of fact let's think about how racist a whole lot of the names is look at uh Dolph Ziggler Dolph Ziggler matter of fact Adolf Hitler Think about it, Adolf Hitler, Dolph Ziggler, fuck out of here, bro. Y'all ain't putting the bullshit past me, though. Talking about he criticized them as racist. Say he made a complaint or accused of something. What you mean criticized, motherfucker? But anyway, they said with its bright red lips, I mean, its big red lips and bright white teeth on a black background. That's totally racist, and I'm tired of them acting like they don't know that that's racist by now, goddammit. Then they just go through the bullshit with Gucci a minute ago, but they still don't know. We have no idea. These people stay doing that sound bullshit. They think that shit funny, motherfucker. It's an attack on them. But they starting to realize that people waking up, goddammit. But look at them. Let's further uh, break this bullshit down. Here you go his tweet, y'all. I will keep posting till my voice is heard. I'm not sorry for anything I say or do. Representation is important. If this is Vince McMahon and Triple H vision of me, then this is a slap in the face to every African American uh, performer, fan, and supporter. And y'all heard that directly from him. You witnessing the Rebel Network, and you could see this racist ass t shirt. Now, come on. We could look directly at that and see direct offense to that. But to tell y'all the truth, I don't like the character they have in play because they always have them smiling. I used to be like, why they got that boy showing all his teeth all the goddamn time? You did? He up there. Like, I know his character. His character is confusing on the goddamn show because it's like he an anime dude. I'm going to show y'all pictures later. It's like he an anime dude who be smiling in these anime poses, yet he be doing a little balling, the little thing from jim jones so you be like what the fuck is your character supposed to be jordan miles you did but that's neither here nor there i guess in a since deleted twitter video miles said wwe doesn't care about black people before flashing a middle finger you dig and that's what's up dog at least somebody did something god at least you said something i don't give a fuck if he go back on it because it's bigger than him and it's bigger than wrestling once again god damn it because y'all be trying to hide from this racism but you fucking can't no matter if you think you're a nerd and you watching star wars or you think you're watching love and hip-hop you know the most ignorant shit you did you go 
gonna have to speak on race, goddammit, at some point in time. Anyway, you witnessing the Rebel Network, let's continue, goddammit. WWE issued a statement later Sunday saying the shirt had already been redesigned and that none were sold. Mm. I think that mattered to them, y'all. They, they made that statement like that mattered to them. They said none of them wouldn't sold. Bitch, you made the design. I don't give a fuck if you sold three or four of them, goddamn. I don't give a fuck if you, if you sold zero. What the hell you mean? Y'all set up there and made that shit and probably was laughing like a motherfucker in the ballroom. Ha <laughs> ha. Vince does it again. We got one pass up. Ha <laughs> ha. Once again. Come on, man. Let's continue to read. Elba Hardy approved this shirt. This with the WWE still was saying, y'all. Elba Hardy, a.k.a. John Miles, approved this T-shirt for sale. The statement read, as always, we working collaboratively with all of our performers to develop logos and merchandise designs and get their input approval before proceeding. This was the same process with Albert and we responded swiftly once he later requested that the logo, you know, be redesigned. No T-shirts were sold. See? See? They say that no t-shirts were sold. Once again, matter of fact, they started off with none of these t-shirts ain't get sold, no dog. None of, you ain't selling nothing, and they ended it with none of these t-shirts were sold. Bitch, I don't care. Y'all know what you did, and uh, it leaked, goddammit. How we even see visuals of it? It leaked. We saw it. He saw it. I don't give a fuck if one black person saw it. It was saw. God damn it, you've been exposed, but I've been exposing your dirty ass, especially Vince McMahon with your pedophilic uh, female assaulting ass. Boy, you better sit the fuck down out here. But anyway, talking about y'all be working with them people to develop logos and merchandise and shit, but your show sure don't work with them to give them their fucking royalties, huh? Giving them dudes pennies like a motherfucker. I don't even know why they still working for you. In a minute, all of them gonna go to AEW on your dumb ass and try to get paid, but it's all right just like them nxt stars already complaining because you don't put the dudes on tv yet they can't they ain't even getting a pay raise god damn it they getting the same amount of money as if they was performing on the motherfucking internet site with y'all dirty cheap ass but you could pay some uh big name 15 million dollars but that's need to hear no motherfucking there once again you witnessing the rebel network let's continue to read this bullshit Miles said he objected to the design and offered an alternative, but the WWE still went forward with the design. He felt uncomfortable with it, you did. He also tweeted a screenshot of an email from a WWE employee in which the employee says Triple H WWE executive Paul Levesque or whatever the fuck his racist sounding ass, German sounding ass name is, goddammit, wanted the design to be more teethy. See, he wanted him to show all his motherfucking teeth. Y'all know how that shit go when they be like showing them old Steve Harvey teeth. You think Steve Harvey just smiling for nothing? Puff Daddy showing all the motherfucking teeth. You think they smiling for nothing? Big ass smile. He wanted it to be more teethy, goddammit. Man, I said he didn't want it that bullshit, you did. Look at what Miles tweeted, you understand? When I originally saw the design, I was uncomfortable. Rather than addressing the issue, I decided to counter the shit with a, another offer, you did. But me, see, I would have jumped right in there. Hey, what the fuck y'all doing with this? You know, but he played it professional. You don't think I'm just out just saying react stupid to every situation. Be um a businessman about it. Because don't think that this just how I am in real life, dummy. You got to play this shit smart. The man said, look, let me counter that bullshit. Show them another design, another little piece of something you did. What we doing? And you know, some shit I like you did. Let me just counter it since they racist. Maybe they still don't know or some shit. You know how they be. What? We don't know what's racist, even though we invented what's racist. But suddenly we have a memory lapse. You understand what the fuck I'm saying, you did? So he said he countered the shit. Baker Landon lied to my face, the man said. He said Triple H wanted this design, so my fucking hands was tied. I spoke with Triple H in, a, in person, and his impression was that I approved it. So look, they did the old, uh, I'm going to blame you, you going to blame me type shit, you did. What happened was that man laid up there and said, say, Brandon, bitch, 
I don't like this stupid ass design, you did. He said, well, I'm sorry about that, man. Triple H approved it. <laughs> Nothing I can do here. <laughs> Jordan, I'm sorry. My hands are tied. That's what he said. My hands are tied. Then he said, look, I went to check Triple H, bitch, man. I said, Triple H, bitch. I don't like this old whack ass design. What is up with this old racist shit? Bitch, I know you racist, but you ain't about to embarrass me like you did Booker T and shit. Like when y'all wrote that bullshit to where Kurt Angle raped his wife in the motherfucker the fucking ring and shit or uh, when you say uh booker t supposed to be cleaning toilets and shit or uh, when rick flair laid up there and said oh you supposed to be carrying triple h bags and shit you did i ain't about to let you play me like that so what the fuck happened with my design he said oh man i thought you approved it see <laughs> oh the other dude oh man my hands are tied triple h oh i thought you approved it man my bad see what the fuck i'm saying but nah y'all Nah, it's just me, it's BTN, it's these goddamn race rebels, it's me, huh? Fuck out of here, you witnessing a rebel network, though, motherfucker. Miles also brought up WWE's continued employment of Hulk Hogan. Ain't I been talking about that? They continued hiring of that racist, stinky motherfucker Hulk Hogan who laid up there and said, oh, shit, uh, my daughter marry a nigga. It better be some tall, rich, balling nigga, a million dollar nigga. Remember, I ain't racist, you dig? I work with him, you dig? I get money with him, you dig? But that's about it, you know? I keep it like that. Him, that's who they still. And remember when I was telling you they was weaseling them in? When, uh, matter of fact, Gene, Mean Gene had died, you dig? His partner, he probably was racist too. Motherfuck Mean Gene too, you dig? Fuck all of them. Y'all know how we get down. Him and, uh, when Mean Gene died, that's when they snuck him in. Oh, say some words for Mean Gene, you dig? That way we gonna ease you all and shit like that get the fuck out of here they need them bought them fully back because oh it's smackdown's premiere the premiere of smackdown we gotta bring back the greats let's get hollywood hulk hogan and all that bullshit now this nigga got a whole team of wrestlers that's gonna go against another team of wrestlers see how these motherfuckers get down that man said who was recently rehired by the company in july 2018 three years after he was fired for being caught repeatedly saying nigga 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 probably said nigga see i told y'all see nigga 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 like fucking toothpaste nigga 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 i, I bet boy i know he felt good saying that now here you go let's read the tweet you heard me you witness in the Rebel Network. The whole WWE system is fraud. They created this system where you can't trust nobody. You grow cold and you grow apart from what you love the most. See? Because them dudes can't reach the full aspects of their fucking talent. Now, when y'all grow through my channel, you're going to see me making videos like Shame of a Nation Towards R Truth. You don't think I understand that R Truth is a fucking awesome wrestler? You stupid motherfucker you don't think i know that shit but the fucking rose he he let these people throw to him you dig to embarrass us is a fucking shame this dude r truth i saw him do some amazing shit i think he call it the spinning fucking burrito where this dude is spinning the fucking air like a mortal combat player at another wrestler dog the fucking dude is an amazing wrestler or kofi kingston when i be going off on him you think it's fucking personal it's about what they doing to us as a fucking whole as a people you don't think i i saw the fucking uh pay-per-views where he be doing shit off one leg you did to stay inside of the raw rumble to never touch the ground and be eliminated you don't think i saw this shit and know that these dudes is awesome fucking wrestlers that's what this man talking about he said you fucking grow cold you grow apart from what you love so this is what them dudes love no matter if some of y'all say it's wrestling is fake or whatever it is god damn it everything is fake the news is fake sports is fake every every fucking thing's fake fake god damn it but this what that dude love like this shit that i'm doing right now god damn it it's what i love with a fucking passion god damn it and that's what he said you fucking grow cold when i'm not able to do fucking videos nigga i grow cold i be dying to do this shit god damn it you think i'm new to this i'm fucking true to this god damn it that little old school and old school ass saying you did but you witnessing the rebel network let's fucking continue y'all the controversial shirt was one more of the re, one more revealed by the wwe in the middle of september for talent on its nxt brand 
Miles said he spoke out on Sunday because my soul hasn't been able to rest properly since I laid eyes on it. I told y'all his soul who waking up your fucking ancestors. They not letting y'all rest with the shit no more. Why you think I'm always going off on Killer Mike and them? You did? It probably you think I think Killer Mike watching my video or any of these seb celebrities, goddamn it. But you know who watching my fucking video? You. And you gonna pass it along. Even if you don't pass along the exact video, you gonna Pass along the thought process, goddammit. You gonna let them hear it. You gonna be like, what the fuck? Why you doing this fucking killer Mike or fucking Booker T? Why you selling us out like that? Your soul won't rest because your ancestors don't let me rest, goddammit. They, and then I'll be damned if they gonna let your coon ass rest either. The original shirt, the man said, was replaced with another one. You did? That man said the shirt is no longer for sale, whatever. He said he spoke out, blah, blah, blah. Make sure I missing nothing miles known for his work on the independent circuit as ach signed with the wwe in february and was quickly thrust into the prominent position on nxt he was booked to win nxt new next um NXT's breakout tournament in August, which earned him a match against Adam Cole for the uh goddamn NXT championship. They just talked about the his little accolades he was gonna get. Be matter of fact, let's block talk break that bullshit down. Y'all see what the fuck they just say? Miles, known for his work on the independent circuit, signed with the WWE in February and it's and he was quickly thrust into a prominent position. He was booked to win NXT's breakout tournament in August, which earned him a match against Adam Cole for the NXT championship. So what they were saying was, Oh, they not racist because soon as he got on, goddammit, it, they hurry up and let him win a breakout tournament and he fall for the championship in which he lost. See? Ain't I don't know if anybody new to the WWE, but whenever they want to introduce somebody, they always let them start off with a hot start and then they bury the shit out of them. Ask that dude Ryback. Ask that um dude, uh, the big one right now, uh, the other big dude for how the fucking his name escaped me right now. Y'all know the one who used to chill with Daniel Bryan. He started off uh hot as fuck. Now he went down. Sami Zayn, Kevin Owens, all of them start high and then they get busted buried like that but when you black god damn it you stay buried if you're white you got a little chance of coming to fuck back up god damn it now you would think y'all you would think with all of that being said go show a picture of uh, um him for a minute just so these motherfuckers don't try to have my shit with a stupid ass uh Stick and shit when I uh show y'all the video you did. You would think, y'all, that this man would have complete fucking support, right? Against black, I mean, from black wrestlers, you did. But guess what? You fucking wrong. Guess what? Veteran soft shoe, Titus O'Neil, complete coon. This dude is the coon of all coons. Motherfucking veteran soft shoe wrestler, Titus O'Neil. Look at his whack ass SE scoops. Let's read this shit. Titus O'Neill offers advice to Jordan Miles with his fake ass. Matter of fact, they be clowning him. Vince, matter of fact, boy, Vince McMahon laid up there and find your fake ass just for touching them. I think Vince McMahon uh, fined that boy like 50000 and he suspended him, you did. And I think he took a couple thousand off because Triple H was probably like, man, this shit looked too harsh. Don't think Triple H gave a fuck about it being racist as hell that he done all that shit. He laid up there and said, man, you look probably too racist by finding them that hard and shit because you let other wrestlers like white wrestlers who be getting fucked up off all these drugs they could come back anytime Brock Lesnar could stay on uh steroids as long as he let you know Matt Hardy could stay drugged up and shit you know long as he come back and act like he trying to change his life around but anyway god damn it they always fucked over Titus O'Neil whatever he tried to do matter of fact all his gimmicks was terrible man anyway let's read this book shit before I go in as y'all could tell like I'm really serious with this shit right now goddamn you witnessing the rebel network in the wake of John Miles calling out WWE over a t-shirt designed for him 
WWE superstar Titus O'Neil has imported some advice for the NXT superstar. Taken to Twitter, Titus wrote that although he 100% agrees. What the fuck you mean although? And notice that he took to Twitter. Do you not know this young man personally? When he came in, did you as an alumni black soft shoe wrestler not come to him and say, hey, this is how you soft shoe are. Welcome to the WWE. This is what they tell me to do, you know, when new black people to come in and shit like that. Did you not do that? Do you not have his number with your fake ass? Look what he said. Even though he 100% agrees that it's distasteful. Fuck distasteful, nigga. It's a assault and an insult god damn it he dis he disagreed with miles bringing others such as uh ring of honor jay lethal into the conversation as a means to vent his uh frustrations he stated that deep doing so is equally distasteful and that if he uh, that it causes for the coach matter of fact let me start that part over you did because we ain't starting over y'all know how we do ain't no cuts ain't no edit god damn it he disagreed with miles bringing others such as ring of honors jay lethal into the conversation as a means to vent his frustrations he stated that doing so is equally distasteful and that if his cause is for the culture he shouldn't be attacking those in it First of all, Titus O'Neil with your fake ass, with your coon ass, you dig? Uh, Jay Leto ain't in the culture. Matter of fact, you ain't in the culture. You don't know that? You and you other coons ain't get the motherfucking picture yet? That you not a part of this culture, goddammit. You are against the culture. You are puppets. You are fucking Muppets. Buppets, goddammit. That's what we should call y'all. Fucking Buppets. You understand what the fuck I'm saying? That's what you is. Talking about other people who in the culture. He ain't in the culture. Culture. Just cause he got our skin color don't mean he fucking in the goddamn culture, goddamn it. I think I, I can't remember who made the comment. He said all skin folk ain't motherfucking kin folk. And I say you goddamn right about that. And if you watching right now, you can leave another comment. Let's continue, y'all. Uh, to, uh, I'm 100% in agreement that the shirt is very um, distasteful. That being said, bringing others into it, blah, 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 they read it again. If y'all just not printed the bullshit, why would you put it again? I saw what this bitch ass said. They go to tweet right there in case y'all ain't see it. Miles claimed that he had been lied to after the, after the WWE released a statement explaining that they sought Miles' approval before the motherfucking t-shirt you did and Triple H wanted to design. Titus isn't the only one to offer his thoughts of to offer his thoughts of advice on the bullshit and what what they mean y'all because i thought they had the picture what they mean by the fucking shit that he said to jay lethal or whatever jay lethal is a motherfucking coon who done nothing but coon shit whatever coon shit them people asked him to do and that dude said that dude called him an uncle tom motherfucker i'm sorry that i don't i don't got the goddamn tweet when he called him my uncle tom you understand what i'm saying now take that off the motherfucking screen I mean, take that one off. Take that one off. You dig? He called him a fucking Uncle Tom, y'all. That fucking dude. Now, let's check out some tweets, you dig? And he was writing. Whoever know Jay Lethal, you know he a motherfucking coon, you dig? You witnessing the Rebel Network. Look at this. That man said, why should I apologize for being honest? Why should I not voice my opinion and state facts about the state of business? I'm proud to be a professional wrestler, and I'm not even proud, and I'm even more proud to be an African-American. Stand with me and stand behind me you dig y'all see what the fuck that dude saying what the fuck you talking about trying at want the man to apologize you know how they be man you should apologize for that dude dude you probably should apologize for that you're really not gonna get a push now ain't that fucked up just because you spoke the truth now you gotta worry about your career being in jeopardy and shit kind of shit is that bro show another tweet Better look at that. Uh, one of the look, see this one of them little fake ass fans right here, Gary T. What's the end game though for the culture? 
What's the end game? Nigga, fuck with the end game. Right now, don't worry about the end game. Right now, all that man need is your support. That man said better representation and to be heard, god damn it. He trying to be heard that black wrestlers are treated unfair. And he want them to be represented fairly, god damn it. You already know they treat all wrestlers like shit, god damn it, in WWE. They can't get paid at all. Like I told y'all, NXT stars ain't even getting a fucking boost in pay, god damn it. Even though the dudes is on TV now, god damn it. But let's read the next tweet. Nigga say, I'm not sure if they are capable of regret. I don't know if y'all could see the whole thing, but that's what it say. Because you know who they is, Vince McMahon, Triple H, and y'all in general god damn me the elite y'all motherfuckers the controllers you know who they are he said they will learn to regret this i promise you and that shit is impactful nigga said well they and he put it in caps they will learn to regret this god damn it they will fucking regret this i promise you that's what that man said with your fake ass i don't think they're capable of regret well fuck them then this should let all young black wrestlers know that they should leave and it should let you uh, multi-millionaires, you black millionaires know that there's a big ass void right now. You, There's a big business venture right fucking there, you idiot. All you gotta do is make a black version of a black wrestling company, god damn it. And it, you gonna have so many fucking stars. You, I swear that shit'll be off the roof. It'll be off the fucking roof. But let's look at some more tweets. Thank you for the people who still uh watching, god damn it. Either you love wrestling or you love the commentary, god damn it. You're witnessing a rebel network. Here you go the next tweet. You did look at that. This ain't a tweet. This I put this together just to let y'all know where the fuck it's coming from. Since some people still don't know where racism come from, even though they invented it. Look at that big ass nigga Jim Smile, Sambo, you did. And that's the shit right there that they gave it to him. And matter of fact, y'all read somewhere else that dude said when they sent him the design, it was white. So it looked different. Think about that black shirt with a white design behind it. I guess he ain't know you did. And he said when they slipped that shit out, that's how it looked. My bad from uh tapping the goddamn mic. That dude said that's how the shit looked when he looked at it again, goddamn it. It's a damn shame, look. And, oh, this is when I told y'all I wanted to break down his character, you did? Because, really, I don't get his fucking character. You see that, that picture in the middle right there? How he lay down, like, on his stomach? I don't like that. What the fuck is you laying on your stomach with the... That's an anime smile, but still, the smile is still. Y'all know what I'm saying, right? Come on, now. Nah. Come on now. Nah. And look at the third picture. The dude, a hell of a fucking uh, wrestler. Be doing awesome shit. And that's the little balling type shit he be doing when he in the ring too, you did. You see what I'm saying, bro? Awesome ass wrestler. Dude got nothing but motherfucking talent. You understand what I'm saying? Know that shit. The dude talented than the motherfucker, y'all. Nigga said... Now let's read this shit. I'm not surprised by your comment. You don't know what it's like to be white in America and be accused of being a racist for having a different opinion. I'm accused of being racist for having a different opinion. You dumbass. You're accused of being racist for having a racist opinion. You dumb fuck. You know, if your opinion was, I want all niggers off the planet. And you don't think that's a racist opinion? It's an opinion, but a racist one nonetheless. What the fuck? You know what I'm saying? It's a racist opinion. You stupid motherfucker. And look what that, what Jordan Miles uh, responded with. I'm not surprised by your comment. And you are absolutely right, my brother. I don't know how it is to be Caucasian in America, so I don't fucking speak on it. But I know how it is to be an African American, so I speak on that, goddammit. Y'all see what the man told him? Got back at him. See, I told y'all, you ain't got to go off or be ignorant. Don't think that I advise that. This is me to you, goddammit. Damn it. Black man, the black audience, motherfucker. That's why I talk to y'all a certain way. But when I go out there, that's just how I get at them in a business like manner. Y'all ain't got to go off. I'm going to make them won't go off by how logical I am with the shit that I'm saying, you dig? I will combatively, man, I will fuck you up, goddamn, you know, literally. God damn it, what the fuck it, you know, you know what it is out here, you witness to the rebel network, y'all, you can see a nigga fired up, now let's look at another tweet if we got another one, you did, I'm not surprised by your comment, we read that, 
Blah, blah, blah. Let's read that. I will keep posting this till my voice is heard. I'm not sorry for anything. That's what that man said. That's a big swole, you did. That's that's a female wrestler. She said, first time I saw this, I shook my head. This is what they come up with? Sambo doll looking shirt? Say say it with me. E, E, capsule E, e God damn it, I can't, uh, Encapsulated racism. My, uh, I'm not pronunciating the bullshit word. Encapsulated racism. Y'all know what the hell I'm saying, goddammit. And that's exactly what the fuck it is. Y'all understand me? Let's go to another one. I don't know her as a wrestler, but I went to following her at, after that bullshit, girl, bro. He said, keep posting this. He want people to keep posting that. Blah, blah, blah. And we back to the first one, you dig? See, we got to go in thoroughly with shit. And thank you to everybody with the high attention span who watched the whole motherfucking video, you dig? You the real MVP. You understood, even if you're not a wrestling fan, that this shit is bigger than wrestling. If you is a wrestling fan, you understand that maybe you need to look a little bit deeper. Or maybe, maybe you understand already that they racist as fuck. But what I do want you to do is go back to all of them little wrestling sites though and you let them know that we on to them go on to the black ones you know the little black vloggers who be like we're wwe bloggers you